I'm here today to present a topic on first homeowners called rent vesting. And what is rent vesting? What happens is that sometimes people choose to rent and buy an investment property instead of buying a house to live in themselves. Is there a right or wrong answer to this approach? No, there isn't. But what happens is you, you stay a tenant, you rent in a location that you want to rent in because sometimes as a first homeowner, you might have to move to a different location that you don't want to live in. So then what you do is you use your savings to buy an investment property instead. There's a couple of benefits there because generally the, the savings on renting is better than actually purchasing your own property to live in because you don't have to pay the council rates and all the other overhead costs and you don't have the costs of borrowing associated with that transaction as well. So therefore, the savings from renting to buying can be quite different like this. However, the downside is you're actually, uh, if you do nothing, you're actually not gaining an asset. So the key is you need to do something with that savings differential and that's where rent vesting comes into it because you actually then buy an investment property instead of buying one to live in. So you're actually doing something with your money to actually generate income and wealth for you going in the future. So my tip for today is to have some courage and actually do something, because doing something is better than nothing. If you decide that property isn't the option for you, well then you need to speak to a trusted advisor and look at different alternatives. Whether it's investing extra money into superannuation, investing money into managed funds or shares or looking offshore, the choice is yours. However, do something with that differential of money that you're saving from renting and let's see what happens. Speak to you soon and thank you very much for your time.